Hi, um, plus one out of Florida, plus one for masking to infinity, because it's what helps me feel safe while I'm here on board. And frankly, I, I have all this gray hair because I've spent the last three years arguing with the management in my office and in my county about the necessity of safety for workers, because somehow I ended up in union leadership. And it is grueling to argue with people who don't believe that masking is essential. So to whatever extent you can, please don't make attendees responsible for policing each other. That's so hard to do. The real reason that I'm here is a very selfish concern. Um, I'm not going ashore tomorrow at Half Moon Key because last year, the thing that I was hoping was going to be really great was a decidedly mixed experience at best. I left some feedback for Cal and for the home office, and I didn't hear anything back. So I just wanted to let you know that while the staff on Half Moon Key was really, really helpful, I suggested to Hal and to the home office that you create an excursion for Half Moon Key for people with limited mobility. So that they would get access to a beach chair, because they had a beach chair, but they didn't know how to use it. I was like, hi, I can help you. Um, the shuttles between the food and the beach are not accessible. And by the time we got over there on the tender, all of the clamshells close to the walkway were taken. So they made amends for almost everything, but the real kicker was that I had to choose between the bathroom and lunch. So I chose the bathroom. And I had a really good time. I dumped myself in the Caribbean, which was what I wanted to do. But then as I was leaving, the little foot wash, not accessible. I had to come back on the ship all sandy and salty about it. And so, literally. Yeah. literally. literally salty. And so, it's something that could be fixed without a lot. It wouldn't be a perfect solution, but it would be a better solution to allow people to self-identify as I need more help to enjoy Half Moon Key. Here is what I need. The staff was great, but I think we could do better. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to just take my phone out to the vote of this, not to the text. And we actually have been uh, working more on accessibility in particular, um, and this is something we can take to that panel. Also, we do know that there are plans for them to redo half community, uh, and this is something we can bring to them. Uh, if they're making these plans anew, this could be something they consider from, from the start. Yeah, they have, they, they've got a plan in place that has been pushed several times thanks to COVID, but they are making half key a they're building a pier and digging the trench so it will no longer be tender port. Unfortunately, it's not a quick process, and as we say, it has been pushed a number of times because of the pandemic, but it is something that is in the future. Uh, the concrete plans in the future, but uh, again, I, you know, we, we, will, you know, we will be sure, as well should you, to pass along our concerns to Holland America. Uh, you know, we, to the extent we can, every time we try to, and obviously, they are a very large corporation and we are a single event, but it is important, it is very important to us that are, I think, welcoming to uh, everyone, including accessibility issues. And we know that they themselves are up against uh, issues of, we're, we're in foreign places that are not subject to the ADA. And uh, sometimes the easy choice is not the best choice on their end. There's things that they may or may not have control of. But that said, we absolutely will continue on our end to advocate for these sorts of things. I think everything you suggested is a wonderful idea. Uh, and we will actually probably talk to, you know, once we're back in the cruise, uh, you know, well, it's a dark excursion. Let's we'll say there's something we can do that, you know, that is possible for, for you tomorrow. I would say, go wash. I don't know about that. But <laughs> to rebuild the boat. <laughs> you know, getting, getting you know, there and back again, um, we, we, will, we will look at, I, I mean, I, I'm going to go talk to someone after this when, when there's a moment. 
And it, and it is not like our event is the only cruise that ever has people in wheelchairs by any stretch. So it's not all in America. It seems like a very simple ask and, and recommendation to them to make some clamshells and some uh, lounge chairs reserved for uh, accessibility, which is something we tried to do at, at all you know, our onboard events. Accessible seats and on the back deck shape, back, uh, stage area, we have accessible seating area. Uh, and such, it's one thing we always try to bear in mind. And it's absolutely, you know, we hate that, you know, you have to keep shouting about it in order to, to be heard, but let's keep sweeping that wheel. We're happy to sweep it uh, on your behalf as well. But, but thank you for you know, reminding us again and, yeah. and keeping us uh, motivated to do so. And it's absolutely possible to provide some amount of that additional assistance and, and clarity in the messaging about what is available. Um, Riz has DJ Shore, and we've helped to provide mobility assistance there. So there, we will, yeah, we, we will do, we will do what we can for tomorrow um, and, and going forward. And thank you, and keep keep telling us if we keep screwing up. <laughs> we're going to have to end shortly. We're going to try and work through as much of this line as possible to kind of cap the line there, unless there was anyone else who uh, couldn't can't make it down to like the phone. We had a question. Uh, if you're going to have to go right ahead.